All right, so here's our uh, second example of writing down the domain and range um, uh, of a function uh, represented by a graph um, using interval notation. Um, so after the previous example, uh, this uh, example I think is even easier. Uh, we can see uh, that the domain of this function uh, is going to start at minus 4 because the graph starts at minus 4. Uh, it's terminated uh, explicitly on the left-hand side with this closed dot, so the graph starts at minus 4. That means the domain starts at minus 4. However, on the right-hand side, uh, the graph is not terminated, so that means this graph is going to extend indefinitely uh, to the right, in other words, all the way out to positive infinity along the x-axis. Uh, so our domain uh, extends from minus infinity, uh, I'm sorry, from minus 4 to positive infinity. Uh, we can use any of these um, uh, x values as inputs and uh, find a corresponding matching output. Um, so let's write down that uh, uh, domain set. Um, the domain uh, begins at minus 4. Minus 4 is a boundary value for the domain and extends to uh, positive infinity. Um, because we have a closed dot here uh, terminating the graph on the left, that means minus 4 is actually part of the domain. Uh, we can use minus 4 as an input. In fact, the matching output here would be minus 3. And um, the domain extends uh, to positive infinity along the x-axis. Uh, we can use um, uh, any um, uh, number uh, as input to the function uh, greater than uh, minus 4, uh, in addition to minus 4. Uh, so any number all the way out to positive infinity uh, can be used as input. Um, so the domain extends to positive infinity, but it cannot include uh, positive infinity because, again, that's not a real number. So uh, here's the correct way to write the domain of this set uh, using interval notation. Um, essentially, that set just means uh, numbers that are greater than or equal to, real numbers that are greater than or equal to uh, minus 4. So we could also write that in words, or we could write that using an, uh, using an inequality. Um, but here it is written out uh, using interval notation. All right, now, uh, now let's look at the uh, range of this function. So what set of numbers do we get as outputs uh, from this particular function? Uh, and so we can see the range here begins at minus 3. The minimum output value from this function is going to be minus 3. In fact, that's the output uh, that matches the uh, smallest input value. So the range begins at minus 3. <laughs> and then again, since the graph is not terminated uh, explicitly on the right hand side with either an open or closed dot that means that this uh, graph continues uh, indefinitely upward and so the range also continues indefinitely upward all the way up to uh, positive infinity so uh, the range of this uh, function uh, begins at minus three uh, and includes minus three because minus three actually is an output value uh, from this um, uh, function. And then also, like uh, the um, domain, it extends to uh, positive infinity. And so in interval notation, uh, we're going to have to put a parenthesis there uh, beside the, uh, the positive infinity. So the range of our function would be numbers uh, greater than or equal to minus 3. Um, any of these numbers uh, we can get as output uh, to this um, uh, from this uh, particular function.